Mats Madhu. We are the children, we are the children, the children of God. Tam Kam Kam. We change our world, we have what it takes to do it smart and make it smart. Welcome to our world, Smart Do. Hello, class 5 boys and girls. How are you this morning? I hope you are fine and I am fine too. We are looking at the topic soil and we looked at, uh, we begin by looking at the physical properties of soil. Whereby we say in the physical properties of soil, we say in the physical properties of soil we have drainage, we have soil texture, we have soil texture, we have soil capillarity. So these are the three physical properties of soil. We say drainage is the ability of water to pass through the soil. The ability of water to pass through soil. We say texture is the smoothness or roughness of soil. And the capillarity is the ability of water to rise up in soil. So I want us to look at the characteristics of the three types of soil. We have three types of soil, uh, from, you know, from the lower primary. We have the sand soil, loam soil, and clay. So let's look at the characteristics of sand soil. Sand soil, we said it has large particles. It has large particles. And if it has large particles, it means that it has large air spaces. It has large air spaces. If it has large air spaces, it means that it has a rough texture or coarse texture. A rough or coarse texture. Sand soil has a very good drainage, has good drainage. Sand soil, if it has good drainage, it means it has poor capillarity. Has poor capillarity. Sand soil, uh, sand soil spreads easily. It spreads easily. So, if it spreads easily, it is, oh, it is called light soil. Sand soil is called light soil. It has large particles, it has large air spaces, so it has a rough or a coarse texture. It has a good drainage but poor capillarity. It spreads easily, and so it is called the light soil. Sand soil is used in construction. That is why it is mixed with cement and ballast during construction. So every every in, in construction sites, in construction sites, the soil that you are likely to find uh, there is sand soil. Sand soil is used in construction. So those are uh, the characteristics of sand soil. Let's look at the clay soil. Let's look at clay soil. Clay soil we say that it has small particles. Clay soil has small particles. If it has small particles, or what is the size of the air spaces? We say it has large, uh, small air spaces. It has small air spaces. If it has small air spaces, it means that it has poor drainage. Poor drainage. We say that sand, a uh, clay soil has poor drainage and it becomes easily waterlogged. It becomes easily waterlogged. Waterlogged means that it can, uh, it, it, it does not allow water to pass through. So it will, it is likely to cause floods. It is likely to cause floods because it does not allow water to seep or to drain into the soil. So its water holding capacity is very high. It has a high water holding capacity. And we say that it has a very good uh, capillarity. It has good capillarity. Clay soil has good capillarity. And we say that clay soil does not spread easily. Does not spread easily. Does not spread easily. So we say that clay soil is known as the heavy soil. It's known as a heavy soil. Clay soil is a heavy soil because it does not spread easily. When it is wet, it becomes sticky. It is sticky when it is wet. That is why it is used in modeling. 
That is why it is used in modeling. When it is wet, it is sticky. It can stick into your hands and it can hold its particles together. It can, be, it can be easily be used for modeling. So it makes the longest ribbons. It makes the longest ribbons. Those are the various characteristics of clay soil. Let's then look at the lastly, loam soil. Let's look at the characteristics of loam soil. Loam soil is a mixture of sand and clay. It is a mixture of sand and clay. That means everything is average. Everything is average or moderate. It's not, not good and it's not bad. So it has an average uh, soil particles. It has average size of soil particles. It has average size of air spaces. Those are the spaces between the soil particles. It has average capillarity. It has average capillarity. It has average drainage. Otherwise, we see it has good drainage. Its drainage is good. It will not allow too much water to hold and it will not allow too much water to pass through. So, it has a uh, very good drainage. And because it is a mixture of loam and sand, we say that a loam soil is consists of a humus. It has humus. What is humus? Humus is plant and animal remains. It has plant and animal remains. So if it has, a, it has humus, means it is used for farming. Clay soil is the best soil. A loam soil is the best soil for farming. So. Why is loam soil best for farming? Because it has humus, it has average drainage and average capillarity. So its water holding capacity is moderate or is average. It is good for farming. Those are the characteristics of the three types of soil. Thank you.